Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. With the release of the Necromex, we have found ourselves using our Tenno operators to jump into the Necromex to operate it. Now this has left our Warframes laying around and basically doing nothing. So, with a little testing here and there, I've tried to put together a couple of combinations which involve the helmet subsum and some builds for the Warframes that should be able to help you and your Necromex when in combat. So the first build we're going to look into here is Trinity with Protea Subsumption. This combination is more of a defensive and survival go-to option. Trinity can use her fourth ability, Bless, to heal the Necromech back to full shields and health, whilst also giving the mech damage reduction too. If you pair this with Protea from the Helmet, then you can actually subsume her third ability, Dispensary. You can use this to pulse out energy orbs for your Necromech to collect. I took off Trinity's first ability, Well of Life, to swap for Protea's Dispensary. It's up to you which ability you want to switch throughout these combinations, if you do prefer a different combination yourself. This is currently the build I am using, focusing heavily on the duration stat for scaling time on the Dispensary and the damage reduction buff too. When you pair this with 150% strength, you will reach the damage reduction cap on her Bless for 75% towards your mech. I am also using a Rejuvenation Aura, pretty much on all of these builds, which slowly heals the mech over time, and a Coaction Drift to give it a little more edge. Natural Talon is a solid mod to make this process better so you can jump back into combat quicker. As for the Arcanes, I am using Arcane Energize and Pulse for both energy and heals, which also both not only help yourself, but the Necromech too. So overall, this build has a great amount of survival and utility that you need to keep powering through your content. The second build we're looking into is Excalibur Umbra with the Mirage Subsumption. This combination is more of an offensive approach. Excalibur Umbra's passive can follow the Necromech around as he is trying to guard your operator after all. When paired with Mirage's Eclipse Augment Total Eclipse, you can buff your Necromech's damage output as Excalibur Umbra he will go ahead and cast the ability himself and he will follow you around so you don't have to stay stationary in one area. I took off Excalibur Umbra's third ability for this, Radial Javelin, for Mirage's Eclipse. I did try taking off his Slash Dash for a dispensary during a test, but he wasn't wanting to go ahead and cast it during the fights. So instead, I swapped things around and this actually worked better for me. Right here is currently the build I am using, focusing on duration first for the Eclipse buff to last longer. From there, I needed range to increase so that Umbra didn't need to be too far away from me to receive the buff. Finally, I increased the strength percentage up for that sweet damage buff increase to my mech weaponry. Do not forget to use the augment here, Total Eclipse, otherwise this build won't be happening. And adding some survivability in your Umbra so that he won't die too often will definitely help this build out here as well. As for the Arcanes, I'm using Tempo and Rage to be a bit more aggressive, which will both help my armor increase his rate of fire and damage when I pair him with a Kuva Comb weapon. I can quickly flash up the build here on the screen for you guys to take if you do so wish. I find this build combination ideal if you want a companion like Excalibur Umbra and a little extra buffing on your side to push your weaponry. This is an alternative to the defensive build that I mentioned earlier. Now we're on to the third build, which is Necros with Octavia Subsumption. This combination is more for the purpose of being utility and material farming. Knowing that Necros can benefit from using this Desecrate toggle, you can also pair this with Octavia's second ability, Resonator. This should attract enemies closer towards the Necros, as the ball itself will not follow your mech. Also, given destruction away from your mech too, you can happily farm away or control objectives with ease whilst getting that sweet loot. For this, I took off Necros' second ability, Terrify, for Octavia's Resonator. Up here on the screen is the build I am using. Once again, duration is extremely important, as you want to be inside your mech at most times. Otherwise, you're just playing around with your Warframe, and you're spamming abilities too often. This will help your Resonator last a lot longer as well. From there, max out your efficiency so your Necros won't lose as much health per corpse desecrated, and pop in a little range for your Resonator. It will always go ahead and move around, but it will still remain close enough towards the Necros, and you will benefit this extra range for his Desecrate as well. And lastly, I decided to use Energize and Grace as my Arcanes for extra utility towards the build and for my Necromech. This build here overall is a little niche, but still one worth looking into. Mostly just a utility approach to help farming whilst still getting enough of the mech combat. 
So guys, these are just some combinations that you can use when pairing together subsumed abilities and also using your Necromech for combat. I find these very useful, and at least my Warframe is offering some kind of support in some kind of way. As per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would be appreciated if you could give it a like for more support. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to join us more often, and if you guys have any other combinations, then please let me know down below in the comment section. However, until next video, take care guys, and have a good day.